Meow. 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 Down on the Louisiana Bayou, there are lots of hungry alligators. And lots of stray cats they'd like for supper. But Muggsy's not on the menu. Oh my God. He's an alligator fighter. An underdog swamp cat who goes paw to jaw with these fearsome man eaters. and kicks their tails. He's just an oddity of nature. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you have to see it to believe it. I've seen him take on two alligators. Bugs is a real badass. Muggsy the Gator Boss was a scruffy young Cajun stray when he wandered into the lives of Chris and Susie Smiths six years ago. Here comes Muggsy walking through the gate. Who knew this little kitty cat was just looking for a fight? But instead, Muggsy finds a home at this alligator swamp. And you can see Muggsy was a little bit different. Immediately crowning himself the king of a dozen other stray cats the Smiths have taken in and he started pushing the other cats around. Chris started calling him Muggsy because he's like a little gangsta. Who protects his turf like Al Capone. Muggsy considers this area up here his territory. He's as gentle as a kitten with the tourists who come here to go gator watching on Captain Alan Krapel's boat. All the visitors love him. He like he'll be in like a belly rub. He's very affectionate. Very tender with children. He loves to be petted. But little Muggsy doesn't like bigger animals getting in his space. Especially alligators that come onto the swamp bank looking to swipe his food. It's almost like he sees a mouse. Except bigger than a mouse. Like 12 feet and 800 pounds bigger. Whoa. Talk about an underdog. Muggsy versus Gator is like David and Goliath all over again. He's out there taking on his alligator. What Muggsy does with these alligators is insane. That's unbelievable. I've never seen him with that before. The Smiths are horrified when they first witness it. Must be shocked the living heck out of it. Small cat, huge alligator. Why? Why would he do that? They're afraid Muggsy will be a gator snack. I thought Muggsy was going to get eaten. I said, oh my God. But Chris and Susie start to relax as they watch the fearless gator hater do it day after day. Then we realize that Muggsy just had it down pat. He's like a boxer. He'll stake his stance. You'll see him just stare right at that alligator. And all of a sudden, he'll just get that alligator left yeah. hook, the right hook. Yeah. He'll go with a combination of hooks. And the alligator just doesn't know what's happening. You would think muggsy has got a paw the size of a tiger paw or something when he hits that alligator. It's made Muggsy a bigger tourist attraction than the gators. He's got a really good left hook. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I've never seen him with that before. And it's even a first for Bayou old timer Gus Bourgeois, who thought he'd seen it all. I've been a Bayou all my life, and I've never seen a cat smack an alligator. That's for sure. And even if the Gators don't exactly love Muggsy, they at least respect him. I just have a feeling that the alligators will never, will never bother. And the Smiths are inclined to believe he's immortal. Muggsy is just one of those pets that he will always be with you. But the biggest thing is that he's part of our family. Meow.